The Mox returned to the mat, led by two-time Southern Conference Coach of the Year, Heath Esslinger. What an amazing match! It's, it's one of the biggest wins in UTC history. Coach Esslinger jacked up like a car on blocks. Chattanooga is home to 29 Southern Conference Tournament Championships, 15 regular season championships, and nine NCAA Division I All-Americans. The crowd is going crazy! UTC takes him down! They're gonna win it! You're watching Monday Mock Talk, hosted by head coach Heath Esslinger. Welcome, Chattanooga Wrestling fans, to the February 15th edition of Monday Mock Talk. The Mocks just closed out the regular season with a long road trip, about 24 hours, probably more than 24 hours because of the snow we had on our way back. But long road trip for us this weekend to Charleston, South Carolina, then to Charlottesville to take on UVA. Uh, Friday night clinched a, a share of the SOCON title. Uh, we're no different than any three-year-old kid. No one likes to share, but I guess sharing's better than getting no peace at all. Uh, you know, a three-way tie in the SOCON between App State, Gardner-Webb, and ourselves. Uh, wish we would have taken care of that, but we didn't, so kudos to them, but glad we got a share of it. Uh, big win for us at the Citadel. Dominating fashion, 34-3 win on the road. We won the close matches. Uh, the only match we didn't win was just an unbelievable bout at 157. Some crazy highlights from that match. Kamal Shakur, I believe, even though in defeat, really showed that he can compete and be wrestling for a medal on Saturday at the NCAA tournament. He can go the distance. He's getting in better shape week by week. He's controlling his emotions. Uh, and the kid can just flat out wrestle. So uh, even though in defeat, we, we're, we're excited about where Kamal is at. Some other great matchups there, you know. At 141, Mike Congrats wins a close match over a tough opponent. Chase Zimanak wins with just a few seconds left over a guy that's been ranked this entire year. Uh, Scotty Boykin, huge win for Scotty Boykin. Uh, I mean, I've said all year we're waiting for Scotty to get hot. If I hope it happens at the right time. Big win for Scotty on Friday, and then he turns around and does it again on Sunday at UVA. So nice weekend for Scotty Boykin, for our team in general. We left the Citadel, drove seven and a half hours to Charlottesville to take on 17-ranked UVA. Coach Garland's one of my great friends. They've had a long year. Uh, just Things just kind of seem to snowball when one thing goes wrong with injuries and things like that. But, you know, obviously they're a great team. They've had a ton of success. We've never beaten them here at Chattanooga. So... You know, it was nice to go there and get a win. It was dramatic fashion. Uh, we had some chances early on. We didn't take advantage of it. Uh, we were down 18-13 coming into the final match, and Jared Johnson seals it for us with a pin. Uh, the same time frame as last year when Jared wins against Oklahoma uh, at heavyweight to seal that dual, dual meet for us. So, uh, again, Jared kind of puts the team on his back and gets the job done with a pin. We win 19-18. It's a huge win for our program. Uh, it's a huge win for several of our guys. Again, Mike Pongratz looked great. Uh, Chase Zimanak looked great. Uh, Kamal Shakur was out. Got a little dinged up on Friday, just precautionary. Kamal's good to go. He'll be practicing this week. <clears throat> At 165, Dominic Lampy. I mean, the kid wrestled so hard, so hard. Uh, I mean, we. I mean, Dominic's a true freshman, and he knows how to endure fatigue uh, probably better than anybody on our team. But we gave up some silly points and we couldn't just get the comeback. But uh, Dominic's a force to be reckoned with. I mean, I would not count him out from winning a conference title this year simply because of his mindset. Uh, at 184, John Lampy were down 18-7, uh, I believe, going into 184. John Lampy gets a dunk. Number 11, Zach Nye, tough, uh, tough kid for them. And then Jared seals it for us uh, with a pin. So overall, a great weekend. A uh, little frustration this morning. Uh, obviously, the national duels pairings came out. Uh, the, the NWCA rankings came out, and, and we weren't in the rankings. Uh, App State wasn't in the rankings either, and to me, that's absurd. I don't know how one of us doesn't get in uh, the top 25. Virginia stayed in. That's a team we beat just yesterday. Uh, Pittsburgh stayed in. They've been struggling a little bit. No, no knock on anyone else, but I think we earned the right uh, to be in the rankings. I guess the coaches across the country doesn't look at, at, at the results. I, I don't know. To me, it's ignorance or arrogance. Uh, I think one of us from the SOCON deserved to be in the rankings. Because there was a tie uh, in the amount of points each of us received, App State got the nod because they won the match head-to-head. -head. Kudos to them. We could have taken care of business, and it wouldn't have been an argument. Uh, but 
again, I, I, I don't understand, uh, you know, some of the, the process there, but uh, it's neither here nor there. Our job is to get back in the saddle tomorrow. We'll take the day off today and continue to get better for the conference tournament. I truly believe we have guys that can be on the podium uh, at the NCAA tournament. I believe they're training that way. I believe we're getting hot at the right time, and I look forward to really the next five weeks as we push to that, that, those three days in New York City and Madison Square Garden. You know, for this coming weekend, not really sure what this weekend holds. Uh, as of now, we don't have anything on our schedule. We're a huge uh, supporter of the dual meet. Uh, we, we go all in in supporting the, the dual meet format. So because we're not in, uh, you know, look to get a match with someone uh, somewhere. Uh, obviously, finances are an issue. We've got to be careful there. But I don't know that three weeks off is the best thing for our team. We'll sit down with our staff and we'll make that evaluation. We'll talk to our athletes. Uh, we, we trust their input and, and then we'll make a decision and we'll go from there. For those of you that are in town, this Wednesday we'll be at Jefferson's. would love to discuss all things wrestling. Obviously, it will be a heated discussion this week as, as my emotions are high and, and, and frustrations are, are a little bit you know, more than usual. Uh, but again, life goes on. Today's Monday, tomorrow will be Tuesday and the, the conference and NCAA tournament will be here before you know it. And, and we want to put guys on the podium at the NCAA tournament. So thanks for tuning in to this edition of Monday Mock Talk. Continue to follow us. Check out all things wrestling. Chattanooga Strong.